And we're waiting for the verdict tonight in the Vanessa Pham murder trial. Jury is now deliberating the fate of Julio Blanco Garcia. After quick closing arguments this morning, the jury had the case. Now they must decide if Blanco Garcia is guilty, and if so, should he be convicted of first or second degree murder? Chris Van Cleve has been in the courtroom all week long. He's live now with the latest. Chris? Well, Gordon, jurors have had this case for a little over two hours now. They are still deliberating. They have to decide, was this murder premeditated? That is the difference between first and second degree murder. Vanessa Fan, perhaps in a bold move that shocked some watching the proceedings, defense attorney David Bernhard used his closing arguments to sketch his own picture of what happened inside Vanessa Pham's car the moments before Julio Blanco Garcia stabbed her to death. Remember, the defense has argued that he was high on PCP and felt threatened when she made a wrong turn. Bernhard claimed that when the defendant pulled the knife, Pham, while driving, grabbed it with both hands. She's struggling. He gets cut. Now in his mind, move, counter move, she's cut me. And he loses it, he flips out, he wrestles control, and he kills her. Make no mistake about it, Ms. Pham was an innocent victim. Uh, despite argument to the contrary that she put herself into the eye of this storm. Prosecutor Casey Lingham questioned how impaired Blanco Garcia could have been when moments earlier grocery store security cameras recorded him putting his infant daughter into a cart and moving without any obvious sign of impairment. He argued Blanco Garcia committed willful acts when he managed to open the sunroof to Pham's car, take his daughter out of the car, discard Pham's cell phone and his own bloody clothes, and then avoid capture for two and a half years. In whichever hand that man held his knife, he held the power to choose, not only between good and evil, but between life and death. Vanessa, we know, chose life. She fought for that. He chose death. He chose it at the tip of a blade. All right, and what we understand, the jury is still deliberating. The judge may not bring them back into the courtroom until 6 o'clock tonight, at which point she'll give them the opportunity to stay until 8 tonight. They'll be given the opportunity if they want to come in on Friday. Typically, they don't hold court, open court on Friday. Otherwise, it could go until Monday while they deliberate. Once they have a verdict, that will begin the penalty phase of this trial. That same jury will decide how long the defendant will spend behind bars. We are live outside the Fairfax County Courthouse where we are waiting for the jury to come back with a verdict. I am reporting live tonight, Chris Van Cleve, ABC 7 News.